Now listen to what, what Paul writes, verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Stand, therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. And I'll stop there. Now, I think there are many people who read through Ephesians that begins with laying this awesome doctrine of the gospel in the first couple chapters and then gets very um, specific in applying that gospel to everyday realities. And then you come to chapter 6. And there's a lot of people that think that in chapter 6, Paul is completely changing the subject. He's no longer talking about family. He's no longer talking about parenting. He's no longer talking about marriage. He's no longer talking about communication. He's no longer talking about the church. He's talking about this weird domain that you have to be concerned about called spiritual warfare. Well, that's not what he's doing. What he's actually doing is summarizing everything that's happened so far. He's saying, you know what I said about family, marriage? That's spiritual war. You know what I've said about parenting? That's spiritual war. You know what I've said about the church? That's spiritual war. You know what I've said about communication? That's spiritual war. Get aware. In those mundane places that we've talked about, you don't actually war against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. There's a war being fought on the turf of your heart. It's fought for control of your soul. Be ready. When your boss has brought you into his office and he's announced to you that in three weeks you will no longer have a job and you drive home in the car and you wonder why God would let such a thing happen to you, you are in the midst of full-blown spiritual warfare. When you've had a conversation with a man or a woman that you've lived with for many years and it's gotten heated and ugly, you're in the middle of full-blown spiritual war. When you've just walked away from the doctor and he said there's There's something that we picked up on that scan and it concerns us. You're in the middle of full-blown spiritual war. You see, it lives where we live every day. Life is war. Verse 